Alicia Rain with Buzzline, and I'm here with Jennifer Jaje, and uh, we're talking about her show, I Heart Hamas, and other things I'm afraid to tell you. And we're going to look in depth at what inspired the show to come to be, and um, other things about her career and what's coming up next for her. And uh, so let's get to it. Thank you, Jennifer, for being here today. The first part of your show talks about you being a Palestinian American and how you're kind of stuck smack in the middle. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a really interesting intersection, especially at this time, to be from two places that seemingly are at odds, but it's like, what do you do when you're stuck in the middle, when your identity is... Um, are two things that kind of don't necessarily seem to go together, but you're balancing that and trying to find a way to live in both worlds and to kind of keep both sides of yourself alive. And everybody has a comment about where I'm from. You know, it's not like you're French and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm French. Oh, great. I love the cheese. Or, yeah, I love the language. But when you're Palestinian, you don't get that. You get like oh, so do you hate Israelis? Or what do you think of Hamas? Or what's happening? You know, it's always this really heightened, very politicized, very intense kind of reaction. I wanted people to really understand what it feels like to have that kind of experience on a daily basis of having people judge you or make comments. or So I wanted to kind of show that and have people realize like, oh, that could be a lot to handle as a kid. That could be a lot to grow up with. And like maybe, um, you know, realize that I think there's there are human beings behind these like ideas and concepts and stereotypes that we all hold. What kind of experiences have you had in the entertainment industry? It's been interesting because um, I don't look typically Palestinian is what people tell me, which I think is really funny because I don't know. I mean, who knows what looks typically Palestinian? I've had a, a number of acting teachers and casting people and you know say like you're ethnically ambiguous so it's great like you could be anything you could be all these different things and I, I thought what a weird like ethnically ambiguous is a term that was come up like that that was developed for marketing like we want somebody who's ethnic but not obviously ethnic or you know so I don't really get asked to audition a lot for Middle Eastern roles. I end up auditioning for all kinds of things that I'm not, which is fine with me, but then it's like I'm not really I'm not really Mexican enough or I'm not um I don't really seem Indian enough for and I think I got really frustrated with feeling like I couldn't get cast as a, a, a Middle Eastern person and then I couldn't get cast as Indian because it wasn't Indian enough and then I couldn't get cast as Mexican. So I kind of felt like I was like falling through the cracks and um and so I, I decided to start writing my own work, kind of out of frustration of that experience. Um, and then it just evolved into a bigger thing about identity. I mean, originally it was a show about identity, and then it was a show about date, my dating life and my crazy family. And then it was a show about my experiences living in Palestine. And it just, like, as we started writing, the, like, it just evolved kind of deeper and it kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper um, until we hit on that as the story. The show is very personal. So I talk about my family, my dating life, their expectations of me, my identity growing up, how it feels to be from a place that's misunderstood and, and people have these ideas about what Palestinian is and who Palestinians are and it's for the most part negative. In my show, I try to really find the humor and to find the really human moments that are like silly or or fun or that that display a, a really personal relationship um, and to kind of contextualize the situation um, on the ground in Palestine or growing up here like struggling with identity through those moments because I think then it gives people a, a access to the humanity behind it and I feel like it puts stuff in context and makes people kind of like let their guard down and talk about more difficult things. 